When Kim first posed the idea of floating shelves in the kitchen instead of upper cabinets, I thought it was crazy. I love the look, but the idea of storing things on open shelving instead of behind closed cabinet doors or in drawers, um, admittedly I thought was kind of annoying. Well, okay, so I had to do some convincing, but I think that where we landed is it's like the perfect middle ground. We do have a few drawers. It's not a big kitchen, but we were able to fit 10 place settings into everything. So we're gonna show you what it looks like inside our cabinets and how we organize the small kitchen. Cause I've always been curious about where that stuff's gonna go. So here goes nothing. Yeah, let's do it. All right, Scott is manning the camera. True. <laughs> so let's start with the shelves. Let's just get the shelves out of the way, talk about what's going on here. So what we have going on are serving bowls, dog treats, very important. <laughs> this is probably the most important thing on these shelves. And then we have this enamelware, um, both in plates, bowls, and then some mixing bowls. And these are going to be really good for outdoor or to give to our nieces and nephews or Lucy when she's older. They can eat off of those. Um, toaster, mugs that we're going to use every time that we're up here. And then just extra pitchers, a French press, and some cookware. But the idea is that the stuff up here right now it's, these are items that aren't going to be used as much. This is used about every five minutes, if Jack and Cece have a say. Not used all the time, but these will be used all the time. So they're kind of grab and go. We have them whipped down, so we're not really worried about dust that much, but we don't have a ton up here. It's just the pretty stuff that looks good, but also is super practical. Okay, so then should we just get right to the... Start in the fridge. Okay, got some OJ purple stuff. Just kidding. But we do have a lot of beer and a lot 90s of liquid. 90s kids, shout. Um, Condiments, we're getting there. This belongs to Scott's mom. Shout she, out to Scott's mom. What's up, moms? Uh, she doesn't drink much, but when she does, it's Salvador's classic <laughs> margarita. Anyway, we don't keep a lot of stuff in here, but the plan is when we're here for longer trips, we'll just go to the grocery and get some lunch meat and bread and beer. 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 Speaking of beer, um, also wine and booze. So this is where we keep all of that. And then we also have our blender and waffle maker up here. So the lesser used appliances. But this will probably get more full as we go on. Shout out to Journeyman. Okay, so down here is our spice rack. Um, a few weeks ago, or by the time this gets edited it might have been a month or two we went and did a stock the pantry grocery trip so just some of the spices we use all the time and the more that we cook the more that it's going to get filled up but we just started with the basics um, down below here the freezer is below on our built-in kind of cool it's very small but it has these kind of drawer compartments instead of shelves but most importantly it's big enough for a frozen pizza yeah pizza and then we can put some ice in there even though our freezer is a little small, the idea is that when we're here for longer trips with friends, we'll just have a big cooler out on the porch and we'll fill that with ice and that's where we'll keep beer, which seems to be the theme of what I'm talking about. But... It's all about relaxing up here. <laughs> okay, let's flip it. Let's go to the island. Okay. Peninsula, technically, if you're into geography. Okay. <laughs> One really important thing that we that we kind of had to fight for um, was the built-in trash can because nobody wants to be tripping over a trash can or having the dogs knock it over or anything like that. So, trash can, yeah. little storage bin for the bags, which is super clever, and we just keep some extra like... All of our cabinets are soft clothes, which is cool. And as far as recycling goes, that's under the sink. So that's under here. These are the drawers that pretty much have all of our stuff. So if you Essentially, everything that would go into your upper cabinets at home gets swallowed up by these drawers. Yeah, here. we decided to do drawers for almost everything just because we we love how it works. Um, you saw in our garden apartment renovation, we did drawers. We loved it, so we wanted to do that here. So all of our cups are lined here. We have water, soda, whatever you want, beer. And then we have small, like, lowball glasses for liquor wine glasses and coffee mugs everything has a 
there's a cork bottom here. We just bought a roll on we just, Amazon. Yeah, we just bought a big roll of cork, which you can see like it doesn't move. That Keeps everything a, from sliding yeah. around and sort of deadens some of the noise. And then we have a drawer and a drawer up here, and this is where. So if you've never used a drawer and a drawer, it's like literally built in. Yeah. And then the front here is a little taller. Yeah. So this has been super cool. We did put a silverware organizer in here. And again, this is 10 place settings, so we have everything you need, plus we've started our little collection of all the little knickknacks. Um, Ice cream scoop. This important. Definitely. This important. Pizza cutter. Because basically up. when you're on vacation, it's pizza and ice cream like all day, our day. Okay, so this is also 10 settings, um, minus the mugs, but you saw we had more mugs on the shelf. And then down here is where we keep all of our plates and bowls. Got it. Again, with the cork, nothing moves. It's it's like heavy, but not like the glides. The glides are very smooth. Yeah, it feels good. Okay, so this is a dishwasher hidden behind the cabinet. We did the panel ready, so it just matches all of our cabinet fronts. And then, as I already showed you down here, we have um, the recycling bin and, and the pullout for all the cleaning. Supplies. This is cooking stuff. So just basics. Um, we wanted to keep things very pared down. One big measuring cup, bakeware Wait, here. Wait, drawer within a drawer. Oh, and, yeah. Hey, Cece. <laughs> that was Cece. Cookie sheets and a pizza crisper. I haven't used it yet. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, but we just wanted to keep it, hi babe. We just wanted to keep it really, really simple. So that's in there. And then up top are Skillets, pans, and up here are pot holders, microfibers for cleaning, and then extra dish, dish cloths. So, very, very, very pared down, super simple, but we really liked keeping everything like tidy. Tidy, yeah. What's up in that corner cab? Okay, so corner cabinet. This, okay. The shape of this kitchen, there was really no avoiding the corner cabinet, um, but we have Lazy Susan's top and bottom. We have our coffee station, and we bought these little organizers off of Amazon, so they're the shape of a pie slice, basically, and they sit right into the Lazy Susan. So here's all of our coffee stuff. Uh, dad joke alert, who decided that Susan was so lazy, and why do we judge her? That was not, that was bad. Down here we have linens, napkins, um, all of our disposable stuff that we might need from time to time, paper plates, and that's it. But we didn't want to clutter it. We don't want things to fall down the side. It works out perfectly. And this little, like, accordion top style door, I don't, I don't know. know what you call but, it. Um, it works. Yeah, it works out great. I think that's the kitchen. That's everything inside the drawers here, so... Do you want to do the mudroom? Do I? Mudroom. <laughs> okay, mudroom, take. Deuce. Now that we showed you the kitchen, we're on to the mudroom. This big pantry here is kind of the workhorse of the mudroom. It does a lot for us here. So we wanted to hide the microwave in here because it's handy to have to warm up your coffee or, or you know heat something up. Food storage, saran wrap, stuff like that. Microwave, obviously. Snacky drawer. Snack drawer. Snacky drawer, super important. We did OXO containers for everything that we want to last a long time. So there's a rubber gasket here. These I think... Uh, They're the OXO pop. Yeah. So these, we love these things. They're great. We're super excited about that. Um, if you've never had Deep River Sweet Maui Onion Chips before, this is a shameless plug. Um, no affiliation, but these things are amazing. They'll change your life if you're into that. They're our thing. favorite junk food. And a little so hard to find. You got to work towards it. Yeah. Microwave popcorn, goldfish, Cheez-Its, you know, all the things that healthy 30-something adults need to Lucy get through cereal. a day. Wedged right in little there. Naked babies all over. <laughs> We've left a lot of open space here. We're going to fill this up as we need it. We got some of the staples to start and then just left room for things. Cork liners on everything. Oh, and again, the Oxos for sugar, brown sugar to keep all of your baking goods fresh. And then the 
piece de resistance. Is that how you say that? Um, yeah. The junk drawer, which turned out being like little weird office supplies, great dividers that we picked up at Container Store, lighters, and a little screwdriver, and scissors, and a utility All knife. All those little things that you need. Those are um, the letters for our letter board. Too. And they are so tiny. They're so teeny tiny. And just very. Yeah. You gotta handle them with care. Yeah. The periods are very, very hard to keep track of. <laughs> Down below here is the dog food station. So the bowls store here when they are not in use. And then we got this big airtight um, storage container for their food. We Jack's have one of those get... at home too. And we, we love it so much we bought one for we up bought here. bought one for up here. Because again, we want the food to stay fresh. Our puppies are special and they get some special food that is um, not inexpensive. So this is a really fun feature that, that Kim was married to and I thought it was a great idea as well. But... Um, Bench seating here. This is where Lucy's carrier goes, dog harnesses. Over here is laundry supplies, so shout the shout. Um, <laughs> you know, laundry tabs, all that fun stuff. Again, mostly empty. So for our uppers, nobody in this family is very tall. So we got a little stool from Ikea to be able to access stuff up here. So up here is all of our tools, um, Tetris everything together and was able to get all of the tools that live here full time um, crammed in here. These are really deep. They're all 24 inches deep. So have a couple different bags of power tools and then our standard toolkit up here does a nice job. These two guys open up sideways. We did sacrifice a tiny bit of functionality here for the light fixture we wanted where this guy doesn't quite open all the way, but it gets you enough so you can still get in and out. But these cool little bins that we got from Container Store will store hats and gloves and scarves so that... They're empty right here, now. Both of them are empty, empty, right? Yeah. Yeah. A ton of extra space. I but love, again, not, love, love empty cabinets. It's yes, like my favorite thing in the world. We're not trying to cram stuff up in here. We'll, uh, we just need space to expand. Yeah. Last but not least over here, excuse me, but... Really um, one more that opens upwards, and this is just bleach, detergent, product manuals. But again, this cabinet's almost empty. It's I think it's 30 inches deep, so there's a ton of storage here. Um, actually, probably have to get the real ladder up to be able to reach the back recesses of this guy. Love having room to grow, though. Yes. That's the whole point. Um, but that pretty much sums up the mudroom. Very happy with how everything turned out, and most importantly, we have room to uh, continue growing. Yeah. All right, poppers, we'll do it. Okay, to give you guys an idea, each of these rooms is about 8 by 10 ish. Yeah, give or take. Um, so that doesn't make for a very large kitchen. It does make for a pretty decent sized mudroom, but. Um, our whole goal was to keep everything pared down and simple and not overdo it with gadgets or extra things that maybe we might have at our Chicago kitchen. And I think that we covered everything. Yeah, with still a little bit of room to grow. If there are things that we forgot, we still have space to put them. Yeah. We're not bursting at the seams. But overall, I think last night we needed a cheese grater. We need a cheese grater. Oh, and we need the avocado tool. If you don't have that, no, we don't. We don't need your... the avocado. We don't need gadgets. If you don't want to end up in the hospital, you probably need the avocado tool. It's safe and helpful. Also, who doesn't love looking inside others' drawers? <laughs> Me, I, I don't do that I don't, when I, I don't, visit our friends' I don't. houses. <laughs> Hide your valuables. I don't do that. I don't do that, but I think it would be fun to do it. Okay. I fear that we've just lost some friends and that Kim is no longer welcome in our closest friends. No, I, you know what I mean. Also, down the road, we will probably childproof these little cabinets and things, but for now, we're not at that point, so things will get little latches. In the meantime, I'm not going through our friend's drawers but it would be fun. That you know. Of. It would be fun. That's all. With permission. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>